Okay, checking uh, automotive pulleys with these uh, serpentine belt systems, we have uh, very few issues with pulleys. Uh, most often what happens with pulleys is they get bent or damaged either by somebody trying to remove the pulley using a pry bar instead of the proper puller or uh, you know some physical damage the car gets in a collision and the pulleys get pushed back here's a power steering pulley right here and what you want to do is start the car and observe the pulley if the pulley starts to wobble uh, then you know that uh, it needs to be replaced you're going to get noise uh, it's, it's going to cause belt wear and uh, all things like that so uh, you, you'll have to watch it and if it needs to come off then you know, you'll have to uh, replace the pulley if it's cracked bent or broken then that's it it cannot be repaired uh, we have some other pulleys like this right down here called an idler pulley. It has a bearing on it, and that ring maintains the tension on the belt. It also has a built-in tensioner on these serpentine belts. Sometimes that uh, bearing inside wears out and it gets noisy, or that idler pulley starts to wobble a little bit, and then the, that assembly has to be replaced. At the same time you replace a pulley, also a good time to replace your serpentine belt. Here you have a water pump pulley right here, mounted on the end of the water pump. Uh, those can go bad too, but again, if somebody tried to pry on it uh, or uh, pound on it with a hammer, that's what's going to cause it to go bad. Same with an alternator pulley, which is buried way down there. So again, it's just physically looking at the pulley, uh, making sure it's not wobbling, and uh, also kind of looking to see if it's not cracked or bent. If it is, it has to be replaced.